Hello and welcome to the first J2ME Army Knife video tutorial. This tutorial will teach you how to create a wobbling picture of Homer, much like the picture you are seeing right now. So, we start with a basic midlet that does nothing but create an instance of demo canvas and we paint it for 100 frames and a basic demo canvas that right now does nothing but fill the screen with white. For convenience, I already set up a few variables that we will use later on. The first step is loading an image. And we will load Homer right here. Let NetBeans take care of the boring stuff. And voila! We now have Homer in our device's memory. Second step, display Homer on screen. And let's see what we have until now. Keep in mind that this is a simple tutorial and not everything possible will be showcased. So, we have a picture of Homer on the screen as expected. Second step, let's add a static wobble to Homer. Let's add a vertical wobble. And let's create a temporary variable for the wobble result. Let's configure the wobble. Let's say we have a, I don't know, 10 pixel wobble and uh, two wobbles per frame, that is two vertical wobbles per frame. Now we want to process Homer. We want to store the result in the temp result variable and now instead of displaying Homer on screen we will display the temp result. Everything should work out nicely and in a couple of seconds we will see uh, distorted, actually wobbled picture of Homer on the screen. And indeed we do. Now, let's add a horizontal wobble as well. Now, since there's not much difference between a horizontal wobble and a vertical wobble, I'll just copy paste and change a few letters. So, this is it here. Here again, I will configure the horizontal wobble with the same parameter, so copy paste. And what we want to do now is, here we already have the result from the vertical wobble, so we want to run that result. the horizontal wobble as well. So basically the end picture will be a two-way wobbled picture of Homer or something like that. And indeed it is. Now we want to add animation to this picture. And to add animation to this picture all we have to do is create a frame counter variable, increase the frame counter on each frame, and this is the really really cool part, to configure the transformations in order to generate an animation, all we have to do is write two lines of code, one for each transformation, that is.
this, which sets the initial offset for the vertical wobble to the frame counter, and this, which sets the initial offset for the horizontal for the horizontal wobble to frame counter. So keep in mind that actually the well, basically the initial offset for both transformations is increased by one on each frame, and that's it. Let's see how the end result looks like. Uh, Many seconds now. Ah, here it is. So, this is the end result of adding two wobbles together on a picture of Homer and adding animation. It all took, I think, less than five minutes. And there you have it a wobbling picture of Homer. So that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll hope you'll give the J2ME Army Knife Library a try. Thank you.